Hello, I'm Atsubojo. Now, yesterday I began to talk to you about the rapture. Now, this is so important. And I said yesterday, we shouldn't be confused about the rapture. It is well clear and spelled out in scripture. It, we, are, it, we know how it's going to happen. See, it, it's not going to happen like a lot of people think. See, I told you yesterday, four people in scriptures that have, that have already been raptured. Now, clearly, these are, I'm not saying they are the only four. I'm going to show you others, but, but I'm picking out these four because um, we, we have something to understand from, their, from what happened to them. Now, first of all, um, Enoch, like I said, Moses, then Elijah, and then Jesus. Now, I want you to understand something. Enoch, Enoch's case, we're not told what happened. We just knew that he disappeared, so uh, nobody knows what happened. Now, Enoch already had this character of just living away from everybody. You know, he, he, he comes, he sees them, and then he just goes away. Now, so when God took him, they just realized that we, we don't see him anymore. He's not come, he's not come since again. Now, that's, that's on one side. Now, Moses, we, we see God telling Moses, go to a particular place. There's something I want to point out to you. So God told Moses, go to a particular place. And he went there, and the writer says, God, he died, and God buried him. Where did God bury him? They don't know. Now, there's, there's something that confuses a lot of people about Moses' case. That's why sometimes there's an argument about it. We read in the book of Jude, verse 9, that Satan came to contend for the body of Moses. And then Michael rebuked him and, and said, the Lord rebuke you. So we imagine, because Jude said, Moses came to contend for the body of Moses. Now, when we read that scripture, do you know what we add there? Mo Satan came to contend for the dead body of Moses. He didn't say dead body, but we add it in our minds when we read because, because we read in Deuteronomy that he died and God buried him. And so how did God bury him? God sent in Jeremiah to come and take his body because Satan wanted his body. Hey, think. Think. If Moses had died, Satan would have already had him. Why? Death is a spirit. And when a man dies, it means he has been conquered by death. Are you getting what I'm saying? And death is one of the spirits that Satan uses. Because it's under his control. It has been under his control until Jesus came and said death and life. I have the keys to death and life. Now, he said, I have the keys to death and life. Yet, death is still a spirit. Anyone who dies comes under the bondage of death until he's freed from it. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, if Moses had died, there is no way Satan would come to contend for his body. No. What happened to Moses? I'll tell you what happened. What Satan was actually contending for was that Moses should die. That was the contention. The contention wasn't that Moses was already dead, so they were now dragging his dead body. I mean, think about it. How, why would God be dragging dead body or somebody? <laughs> you know, have, you, have, you ever, have you ever thought about it? No. Moses, no. Satan came with an accusation. I'll tell you why that accusation. See, that's why it's important you have the Holy Ghost. That's why, you know, I told you before, do you read scriptures and go and fast and pray because of it until you get an answer from the Lord? The Holy Spirit is the one that inspired the scriptures, so we believe, right? Okay, if I read something, I don't understand it, I have questions, no human being can answer those questions, what do I do? I go to the Holy Spirit, Lord, show me the secret of this thing. And he is there. Jesus said the Holy Spirit will do what? Guide you into all truth. Now, how do you know it's truth? It will stay true forever. <laughs> now, there are some things that you think, oh, I think I've gotten something. Now, a few weeks, a few months, something else will come that will counter that thing. But when the Holy Spirit takes you into his truth, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, you just know with all sincerity, that's what it is. So, so, what Satan came to contend for was the body of Moses. Now, why was Satan contending for the body of Moses? Because God made it look like Moses is being punished for his sin. I, 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 are you getting what I'm saying? Now, it, it looked like, oh, Moses, 
Oh, I told you to speak to that rock. You struck the rock. You, you dishonored me. So it's enough. Go and die. Okay. So he's going to die. Why is he going to die? Because of iniquity. All right. Then, then Satan comes and says, look, I'll bring a, an accusation against this man. I'm supposed to have him because he, he, he died. And God says, shut up. Get out from there. Praise God. That's what the angel came to say. The Lord rebuke you. Get out. Don't leave this man alone. You have no power over him. Now, when that happened, what do you think happened next? Moses was taken up to heaven. He was raptured. Praise God. Now, that's the truth. Now, that's why he was able to appear from heaven with Elijah. Now, now, common sense. If he appeared with Elijah, don't you think they must have come from the same place? I don't think Elijah got there and said, Oh, Lord, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, let's wait for Moses. No, he's coming from, from, from hell. Or maybe he's coming from uh, Abraham's bosom or wherever. <laughs> maybe he's coming from there. You know, he's longer. Uh, let, let's wait. No, they came together and they left together. Common sense should tell you that they came from the same place and they went back to the same place. And then common sense should also tell you that they came because they were living and they were alive. And now that's the truth. God can actually command Elijah to come back to earth right now because he's alive. He's a living man, not dead. He's <laughs> God. So now we see the same thing about Jesus. When you look, look, look chapter 24, verse 15. Verse 50, Luke chapter 24. And he led them out as far as to Beth Bethany. And he was lifted, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Did you see that? Doesn't this remind you of Elijah? While Elijah, go, leave, go read 2 Kings chapter 2. While Elijah was talking to Elisha, he was parted from him. And then, the, the, the chariot carried him to heaven. While Jesus was blessing his, his disciples and talking to them, he was parted from them and what carried him. Now, I have some good reasons to believe that the same, now I don't mean same as per the, the, the very same, the same way, in other words, Elijah was carried to heaven by a chariot. It's the same way Jesus was carried to heaven by a chariot. So why didn't they see it? You know, God specially grant Elisha to see it. Now, you know something about the disciples of Jesus Christ. This, this might be very funny. Even after Jesus resurrected, oh, let me stop here. I'll, I'll, I'll share what I want to share tomorrow because if I do, we're going to extend so long in our time. But I'm just going to continue from here tomorrow. Praise God. God bless you. Bye-bye.